Out of Coach John Embry and senior quarterback Tyler Hansen. Coach, we'll have a, make an opening remark and then we'll take questions from the group. Well, uh, first off, I'd like to say uh, we're very excited to uh, be a part of the Pac-12. Um, we've, uh, and I say we, the University of Colorado, uh, feel like it's a great fit for us academically and athletically. All of our alumni that we have out here in these areas really make it uh, good for us, and so uh, we're very excited to be a part of this conference. Okay, we'll go ahead and take questions from the group. Question right here in the front center. John, after you signed on the dotted line, what did you tell athletic director Mike Bone about playing 13 straight games with no break? You know, uh, that's one of the things about I guess coming from the NFL. You know, I think last year in Washington, we didn't get our bye till uh, I think we played nine or 10 straight. So you factor that in with preseason and all that, you get used to it. So uh, we just, uh, we'll have to be smart how we practice, you know, towards the end of the season. Uh, but what it really does is it creates a lot of opportunity for our young players because uh, we're going to have to play everybody that we can that's, that's not red shirting uh, to give us a chance in these games. So uh, for them, they should be excited about it. I just told them I was glad he didn't put the Packers on the schedule. Question here, third row on the left side. Obviously, Coach. Um, Obviously, going to a new role, you have uh, a lot of things you want to change, but um, what one thing uh, would you do, I guess, to win more football games? What one thing would I what? Are you like looking to do as your major improvement to win more football games? I, I want to improve uh, the identity of our program. I want, when people see us play, uh, I want them to, to uh, understand uh, we're a physical program, physical team being able to run the football. I don't think we've run the football like we should. You know, when Colorado's been successful in its past, um, we've been a good running team, and that's what we need to do. But I think to be an effective team running the ball, you have to be have a physical kind of mindset. Second row on the right. Uh, this question is for Tyler. Tyler, being a California kid and getting to be in the Pac-12 now and playing a lot of teams from from the West Coast, what's that mean to you? And then for Coach, um, how is it going to affect recruiting? Obviously, you guys have always tried to kind of have a, a foothold here, uh, being in the conference and now competing with teams in the conference. What's that mean? Well, uh, being from California, you know, I grew up a Pac-10 fan. You know, watching Pac-10 games. So, uh, you know, being you know my senior year and being a part of the Pac-12 is something that that's really special. And uh, I look forward to you know competing against you know, all of the Pac-12 teams. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, from a recruiting standpoint, it helps us a lot being able to come back here every year, whether we're playing USC or UCLA, or even the fact that we're down in, uh, in uh, Arizona playing one of those schools because of the drive. So that helps us a lot. Uh, we have to get to where uh, we're recruiting this, this state again effectively. Um, I believe we have four or five kids maybe committed in state or in state from uh, California in the state uh, currently in this cycle. And uh, we have to continue to, prove, uh, to uh, improve on that. On the far right. Morning, Coach. How you doing? Good. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of talent at the quarterback position in this league. Where does Tyler fit in with that group of guys, and what are your ex expectations for him this year? Well, I, you know, I think Tyler fits and belongs with the, with the groups of uh, guys that you have here uh, and uh, the quarterbacks that you have in this conference. Um, for, for Tyler to be effective, you know, it, I look at touchdown to interception ratio. You know, if he's throwing a lot of touchdowns, not a lot of interceptions, I'm, I'm happy with it. You know, my last year at UCLA, we had Drew Olson, who was overshadowed by everybody in the conference. And, I think uh, Drew finished 37 touchdowns, four interceptions, right in that range. I'll take that every year, you know. Uh, so uh, to look at Tyler, that, that's what I think he'll be judged by as far as his on the field performance. But uh, off the field, he's done everything we need to do. You know, I tell people, Tyler, the thing that I think makes him a successful person and, and it's going to help him be successful this year is that he loves to prepare probably more than he loves to play. And uh, when you have that uh, within you, that, that allows you to be successful. You know, he loves watching tape. He gets the guys out there to throw. 
Um, he understands when we say something to him. You know, he picked up uh, the offense very quickly. He had a spring practice where he went uh, 18 out of 19 for about 250 and three touchdowns. And the thing that was really most impressive about that was out of his 19 attempts, only twice did he get downgraded for having a poor decision. Uh, so that tells me he knows where to go with the ball. He understands the progression. He understands how coverage dictates some things to him and uh, had a good feel for it. So um, I'm very happy to have Tyler sitting up here next to me. I wish he was a junior. <laughs> next question will be on the far left to the wall. Tyler, this, uh, this one's for you. You're playing an offense now that's similar to the one you ran in high school at Chaparral. Do you feel like that's going to help you this year? Absolutely. You know, absolutely. You know, I'm under center. I'm not, not in the shotgun anymore. Um, I'm getting the ball out on time, you know, whether that's a three, five, or seven step drop. Um, and I think with the playmakers I have outside, you know, if I get the ball on the time, I think we could have a real successful year on offense um, because I have some great playmakers on the outside. And so my job's easy. I get the ball to them, you know, so. Um, I feel uh, in high school is the same offense, so I feel real comfortable in this offense right now. So yeah. Third row on the right. Hey, coach, this is kind of a two-part question. Uh, the first part of the question is now that you guys are out of the Big uh, the Big Twelve, what are your thoughts about the uh, the Texas network and the competitive balance in that conference, and also kind of your thoughts about how things went down last year with uh, the expansion, which could have been the Pac-16 instead of just the Pac-12. Uh, I think 12 is better than 16. I think it's a better fit uh, just from championship game and, and doing all that. I, I think uh, uh, that was better for the conference. And then, you know, as far as the Texas network, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, it doesn't affect this conference. It doesn't affect Colorado at all, so I don't worry about it. Right down here in the center, second row. Um, Coach, how much harder is it to prepare for teams that you know you haven't faced a lot in the past, and what adjustments have you made to be able to do so? Well, they still have to pre prepare for us too, so it's hard for both teams. Um, I do have some familiarity with uh, this conference. Um, I was at UCLA for three years, and then uh, my son's been at UCLA the last three years, going to his senior year, so I've uh, watched a lot of different games, always UCLA involved, but <laughs> watched uh, some of the teams play. So, uh, you know, it doesn't, you know, there's so much diversity in this league offensively and defensively. You know, you're not gonna see the same style on both sides of the ball, maybe week to week. So you always have to prepare, you know, you can't, going with a cookie cutter kind of mentality and say, well, if we just do this, we'll be prepared for everybody in our conference. So uh, uh, because of that, I think that you have to have a, within your systems, you have to have great flexi uh, flexibility and adaptability to what's going on and what you're going to face from week to week. You know, if you play Oregon, you're going to play fast break football, right? And then the next week, if you're playing Stanford, it's power football. So. As a defensive coordinator, you just can't come out there and say, all right, well, here's what we are. You know, you have to have uh, tons of flexibility and you have to be very creative. Um, and that's what's so great about this conference. Mm -hmm. Question over here on the left. Sean Pitts, you, CaliforniaGoldenBlocks.com. This is for uh, Coach Embry. How do you come in and change the culture, the mindset of a team that hasn't won on the road since 2007? We haven't. <laughs> How do you change that? Well, you know, that's been a sticking point with me. Um, one, I don't run away from it. I've addressed it with the team. And to be exact, we've lost 18 consecutive games on the road. Uh, I believe there's no one on our team that has played in a road win. So, uh, um, I'm taking it head on. I, I believe it, it all starts um, from how you prepare. It all starts with the mindset. Good teams win on the road. And obviously we haven't been a good team or I wouldn't be here. And uh, so if, if we want to do the things that, that the players want to do, 
be at bowl games and championships and all that, then we have to win on the road. And, uh, you know, the schedule was mentioned here earlier. And, uh, you know, about us playing 13 straight. The thing I'm excited about is our first game is on the road because we need to address that issue immediately. And uh, we just, I'll leave it at that. We need to address that issue immediately. It does not sit well with me. Any further questions? No more questions? All right, Coach, Connor, thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you, guys.